most important view is an x-ray of the pelvis with both the hip joints and the true AP view. Now, there is something which I, you know, deliberately wish to stress upon here, particularly if the PG residents are watching this video. See, in your PG residency, you're often asked to go and see a patient and if that patient has a fractured neck of femur, you're asked to prescribe an x-ray and you write down x-ray of the pelvis with both the hip joints and the AP view. Ideally, you should write down true AP. You know, what do you mean by true AP? I would say that it should be accompanied with 15 degree of internal rotation. So, the complete prescription of an X-ray goes, X-ray of the pelvis, the pelvis with both the hip joints in the true AP view with legs in 15 degree internal rotation. I'm going to show something here. So, you know, focus on your screens right now. It is important. If you put the legs of the patient into external rotation, I'm sure if you see that if the legs of the patient are in external rotation, I'm sure you guys can very well appreciate that the neck is kind of, you know, superimposed by the greater trochanter. And let us say if you put the legs of the patient into excessive internal rotation, okay, if you take the legs into excessive internal rotation, then I'm sure you can very well imagine that the whole thing is going to rotate posteriorly and it is going to rotate posteriorly to such an extent that, you know, your lesser trochanter will not be visible even. So what is the most ideal thing? The most ideal thing is to have uh, a true AP view with the legs in 15 degree internal rotation. This is the true AP position, which is, you know, going to give you the ideal uh, landmark. So this is the first investigation x-ray of the pelvis with both the hip joints and the first